like, hey, magic, watch. In this issue of Real Magic, David Roth teaches something simply deceptive. Even if you know the move, the illusion is very convincing. Well, Garrett Thomas has a warning. Because instantly it goes from, wow, you're a magician and you're interesting, to, wow, where did you get that deck of cards? David Regal complains about destructions. I could put a chair next to the TV, sit on the chair and look over at the TV so everything's where it should be, and I can try and learn something. It hurts. And David Kay talks about the magician staple, the magic wand. That we use in our shows to make kids laugh. Andrew Pennard interviews Eric DeCamps about pure magic. I mean, magic is a performing art. It's not just an art for you. It's not a puzzle. It's about communicating and getting thoughts across and through mystery and, and amazement. Wayne Kawamoto is not impressed. Despite being the most touted trick on this DVD, it was actually among the least of my favorites. John Armstrong returns with part two of the Orlando Sessions. If you try this once on a regular real crowd, you'll see they go insane. And Cosmo talks with Russ Stevens of RSVP Magic. But the main problem, I think, is that we're going to end up not producing these products. But that's not all you get for 10 bucks. We've also got three new tricks and three new moves for you. It's the best deal in magic.